channel, Lottie's Beauty Seekers. Happy holidays to all of you guys. I hope you've been spending a lot of time with your family and it's all going great. Um, today's tutorial is actually inspired by the holidays and from a pretty new issue from Michael Kors. It's a three-in-one look that I want to be showing you guys today because I feel like it's just so easy to do for the holidays. Any little celebrations or gathering or festivities you may be going to, you can just kind of switch it up with a couple of easy little tricks here and there. So if you're excited and you want to learn how to do that, just keep on watching. So let's start off with our first look on this side. It's just a very dewy look and it's very natural, not much to it, so it's quick. You can do it in like probably five minutes if you're really in a fresh or you can just take your time, but let's just get started on that one. So since I have already done my foundation and contouring routine, you can actually just check that out down below. I'll probably put the link there to the video. Um, so we're just going to get started with the eyes. I'm going to be taking this pretty brown color. It has like just some shimmer to it and we're just going to be focusing that color right on the outer part of our eye and just blending it in. And the goosebumps start to rain The minute that my left hand meets your waist And then I watch your face Put my finger on your tongue cause you love to taste And these hearts adore Everyone the other beats hard as four Inside this place is warm Outside is stars I'm just going to take my flat shader brush from MAC and that's in the number um, 230 239, sorry the numbers are rubbing off. I'm going to go back into the same color and I'm going to apply that under the lash line. So I just gave my eyebrows a little bit of shape with the lightest color of this palette. Now I'm going to go in with the darkest and that's just going to go right along the bottom of my um, eyebrows. and that's just going to give it a more rosy dewy look just to add to the shimmer Just a nice, even, thin coat. So now for the cheeks, I'm going to be using this pretty highlight and using a fan brush. <clears throat> So it's going to focus that right on this part, the highest part of your cheekbone. And I'm kind of just going to pat it down. And then bring it down. And for the lips, I'm using my MAC Pro Longwear and it's in the color Persistent Peach. And it is very sticky, so I'm just using a little bit and then I'm going to just be dabbing it on with my finger. Just for a more natural look. More love, more now. No shirt, no blouse. Just us, you find out. Nothing, nothing. Cause it's too cold. 
off the look I'm gonna go back in with my highlight from Mac in soft and gentle and that's gonna go on the, this color is gonna go on the cupid's bow and in the inner of our eyes and then I'm gonna take my finger and then I watch your face put my finger on your tongue because you love it too and these hearts adore everyone the other beats hard as four inside this place is warm Okay, and that completes our first look. And now we're moving on to look number two. And we're kind of just playing a little bit more with the eyes and just switching the lip color for something a little bit more dramatic and bold. For the eyes, all I'm going to do is I'm um, going for an eyeliner, but instead of black, I'm going to be doing it in a very deep plum color. And what I'm first going to do is I'm going to use a little flat shader brush like this. And you can use anything. Um, I'm just using the setting spray by Urban Decay. You can use Mac Studio Fix Plus. You can use eye drops or just a little bit of water. Because um, all we're going to do is just wet the brush a little bit. Go into our color. We're going to be drawing line. that same technique you're going to do that and slightly go under the eye as well just to deepen it up a little bit so I'm just gonna go and do the same thing on the other side so and now that I've done the um, plum eyeliner. I hope you guys can see it. I'm just going to go in with another black coat of my favorite mascara and this time we're actually also going to be doing the bottom lashes. So I was just going to make it a little bit more dramatic. So and now moving on to the lips. That's actually all for the eyes. I'm going to be doing um, a pink lipstick, and that's a uh, Girl About Town from Mac. And I'm going to be dabbing that on. And now to clean all of that up, I'm going to go in with my Revlon. It's just a pretty sparkly. Um, I guess it has like fuchsia and purple, um, like little things to it, so. Okay, so that's actually all that's for look number two. So our final look for today is look number three. And it's just this pretty. It's very dramatic and she just looks so mysterious and that's exactly what we're gonna be going for <laughs> so first things first um, this look I actually would only wear in the nighttime unless in the daytime there's something really special going on just because this look is just very dramatic so okay so for the cheeks now we're actually gonna be adding a little bit of blush and that's this one by Mac and it's in the color flirt and tease my little blush brush. Nothing, it's too low. Oh, oh. I'm just gonna blend all of that with my brush just to make sure there are no harsh lines. Oh, 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 oh. Your hands. And now for the lips, we want a very deep um plum color and I'm going to be mixing two colors to get something as close to what she has. So the first one is by CoverGirl, and it's from the Queen collection. It's the raspberry color, something very dark. Rebel by MAC, the infamous Rebel. And lastly, I'm going to be lining my lips first. Whenever you're using a dark lip liner, like as in red or anything bold, not close to your skin color, you want to go very slow because it's very hard to take off your skin once it's on there. 
So, just gonna be tracing very lightly. Okay, so after we have lined our lips, we're gonna go in with this deep um, cover girl first. And we're gonna go all over the lip with that color. And then with Rebel. And lastly, I'm going to be taking that same lip color again and applying that all over as well. So to complete the look, I went in and I did a very thin eyeliner on top, not really covering the plum we did, just um, defining our lashes. Okay, my beautiful angels, we're actually at the end of the video. I did go ahead and add the lashes, but again, that is optional and totally up to you. And one more time, these are the looks by which the video was inspired. So really quickly, I want to wish you guys all a happy holidays, that you're spending it with the people you love and care about. And remember to just be grateful and thankful for those moments and just cherish them. Yeah, so please remember to comment down below. Let me know which one is your favorite look, which one will you be trying out this season. And again, like and subscribe to my channel. And until next time, my beautifuls.